After spending the most amazing time sailing in Greece, we had to pick up Ziggy from Philip's mum in South Tyrol in northern Italy. Before getting back to renovations at the chateau, we decided to drive to a tiny cabin, which Philip calls his favourite place on earth. And if you have never seen the Dolomite Mountains, I promise you'll be as enchanted as we are. And also, Philip tries to kill me up there, but more about that later. This cabin was built by my grandfather in the late 60s. Back then, grounds in the mountains were cheap, and being at over 2,000 meters, it was easy to get planning for a simple construction. Nowadays, it would be impossible to build anything here. It has become a protected nature reserve, overlooking the spectacular Dolomite Mountains, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I spent the best days of my childhood here, and we haven't been able to come here for the last six years, so it feels very special to show this place to my girls. First thing to do when you arrive is to make a fire inside this oven. Once it's hot, it stays warm the whole night. It's already cozy. I love it here. I love it. The girls and Ziggy have just found their spot. And they're just hanging out there, enjoying the scenery. So what are you doing? I made a fire. It will take well, a couple of hours before we feel anything. Because it needs to heat up all the stones that are that this oven is made with. So this is big, big, chunky stones um, and they will warm up and it keeps the warmth for the, for the night. Also heating the water as well? This is not, no, we have a gas boiler okay. downstairs. So I'm gonna get some new wood, more wood. challenge is to get out of here without losing the faculty of procreation. Ugh. So I'm gonna close this one. Fantastic. I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think this is this is my favorite place in the world. Even rather than a boat. I'd say same level as a bird, and very complimentary. I'm always happy when I'm here. Yeah. yeah. And especially when you two are here. I have to say that it is so special, this place. I mean, it's priceless. You could not put a price on somewhere like this. So we are really, really lucky that it's in Philip's family and we still get to come up here. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some cows up here and they have bells on and it's just the sound is just beautiful. Ziggy, are you having fun? Ziggs. Oh, you look so happy. Are you lots, when lots wagging, of space to when run? He's wagging his tail, it means that he's happy. Yeah, he's often wagging his tail. Um, this is the only place in this whole cabin that has a phone signal and we have absolutely zero internet and yeah I'm just sending a message to my parents so they know that we've arrived but it's quite nice actually it's like uh, completely deconnecting and I also just want to say have you seen my new style I only have my walking shoes to put on I forgot to bring a pair of trainers or some slippers so yeah um, it's a good look Who 
Here we go. What are you making us? I'm making um, a salad with uh, with uh, cabbage. Cabbage with cabbage, yeah, and potatoes with eggs. That sounds delicious. That's because it's a pony. Oh, okay. Aww, she's so cute. Is she following you? Are you coming with us? This is a magic tree, girls. Look at this tree. Oh, look, it looks like I'm doing this. Yeah, exactly. Look, with the arms. Yeah. Wow, that tree. It's so So we've just come to this amazing hütte for lunch. Gulasch with knödel. Schlutzkrapfen. This is sort of ravioli with spinach. It's a very, very good. And a schnitzel. And a beer, of course. Mahlzeit. Okay. This is a traditional game, yeah. It's called table bowling or something like table that. Table bowling. Yeah. Okay, ready? Wow, not bad. Okay. Not bad. So now you said I can either leave the dead ones, ones. Yeah, which I'm gonna try. Or pick them up. I'm gonna try that. Okay. Oh no! no. Oh no! One more. You have one more. Okay. I don't have this. But he used to add. What? Not like nuts. One, two, no. three, four, five. Oh. I'm gonna show you how a local does it. And don't cry if I win. You yeah? only got six. No, you win that. <gasps> five. Thank you. 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 Eight. Lily's danger mouse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's enough. I want to be really good. Okay. Okay. Ooh. It's a bit drunk, but deadly. Oh, well, not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Oh, she just. Does this slow but 
Deadly. Dangerous one. Does it yes. count that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We are going on an adventure today, aren't we? Yeah. It's a walk about four to six hours, depending how fast we are. Four to six hours? No, four to six. <laughs> four to six hours. Well, I wouldn't put it past you. And uh, I can show you where. It's a really nice hike across the Dolomites. We're Is not it? taking the kids today, are we? No, or no, Ziggy. it's not kid friendly. And from here, all the way, here, 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 There's a little bit of climbing involved. I um, didn't tell Anna so far, but it's not that dangerous. It's not that difficult. So I think she can manage. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a challenge. I mean, this is typical of Philip. He'll say, yeah, let's go do some mountain biking. It's only going to be like six hours and then 12 hours later, we still haven't arrived. Hopefully we have enough food and snacks to keep us going. Where do we go? How long? Half an hour? No, 20 minutes. We go down the hill and then climb up the hill again. We like to go faster. Apparently, this is where we should be starting the walk. There was a moment of confusion and um, let's just say, I don't always 100% trust Philip on his uh, navigational skills. I'm absolutely 100% sure it's worth trying to take this path. Günther Messnerstag. Um, it doesn't give you a time. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I remember it's a really beautiful walk through the forest to start yeah. with. And it's very long, it's several hours like this. Very steep, but beautiful. Is there a reason why I'm carrying the backpack? You always do. How do you feel? Out of breath. Out of breath. Well, we are almost on 2,000 meters. Yeah. Which means the air is thinner. It's beautiful. That's where we have to go. It's a bit scary from here. <laughs> Once you're up there, it's much, much easier. Right up there? Yeah, where the clouds are. <sighs> up there. So you don't want to fall down, Anna. <laughs> Better not. Oh, how beautiful. Look at this. Oh. This tree wasn't careful and yeah. <laughs> when we started, we looked fresh and good and now we are sweaty and red faced, but that's, that's how it is when you go in the mountains. You can see we are getting to around 2,000 meters, which is also the border where there's no more trees growing. But there's the last trees here, and then it's finished for trees. Uh, careful, stones are falling, so... Oh, really? This is somewhere you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a picnic here. Okay, well done. Right. You've avoided falling down here. Yeah. <laughs> and then up here. Okay. Just don't fall. Be careful. Come on, go. And if it's safe, you tell me and I come, okay? I'm quite happy because I've just seen that there's a handrail here. <laughs> because it starts to get a little bit sketchy up here. You can do this. I don't want to fall down here. Definitely not. No. no. So. You told me this was going to be a leisurely walk. Well, this is not considered climbing in my region. This is, this is basically for elderly people. They can hold on. So go, go. Just watch where you go.
Okay, we've done the first steep bit. Yeah. It's just the first half, but look where we are now. At Old Pine Meadows. Beautiful place. And didn't you say that the bus driver that brought us here has sheep up here? Yes, he asked us to say hello to his sheep. <laughs> Let's see if we can spot any. These mountains are called the Geislerspitzen. It's not that I know all the mountains here, but I know some of them. I just found a little crystal and I love it. I think I'm going to take it back for the girls. Look, we found the sheep of our bus driver. It's super cute and the lamb. Well, I'd say they are very lucky sheep. If you look what they have as a panorama. Really <laughs> there's, there's some clouds up there, but generally it looks nice the weather, so I'm not worried. I'm worried because this brings back memories of my childhood being made to walk up mountains in the Lake District. And then when we got to the top, it was just surrounded by cloud and we couldn't see any view. <laughs> this is the iconic flower of this area here. The Edelweiss, they're highly protected, so you're not allowed to pick them. <laughs> Why are they so protected? Because they are... Are they rare? Not a rare, yeah. you have to go here and then a nice climbing part starts but I haven't told Anna about that yet. What are you doing? I'm having my Casper David Friedrich moment. How do you feel? Yeah, okay, it's getting a little steeper and I think we are exactly two hours in. So by your calculations, we're halfway, right? Yeah, exactly. And here, that's where we need to go, somewhere up here. Okay, my love, there's a little steep part now where you have to hold on. Yeah. But you did so well the first time. I'm sure you can master this as well. Uh, yeah. Okay, no, first why you go first. I go first. Are you sure? Right. Yeah. Um, it's a little scary. You're doing fine. I'm just trying because. Yeah, this is not. This that doesn't hold that stuff. I tried that one as well. I'm just not looking down. Oh, God. Philip, what do you make me do? You said this is going to be a really nice romantic date. I can't imagine anything more romantic than this. I think this is the sketchiest thing I've ever done. Oh my God. I must love you to do these things with you.
Okay, Yana. Just having a little sit down. Well done. Oh my god, that was like the scariest thing I've ever done for Philip. <laughs> but you mastered it. You mastered the mountain. There was one point where there was a massive rock and it literally just fell. Like, I don't know if my foot hit it and it just fell down right, like, the sheer drop. I was just like holding on for dear life the whole time there. I think there's no more very scary moments here. Yeah, are you sure? Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay. Now we need to make our way down here and don't fall down here. Just just be really careful. Oh, look at this. Ooh. And another one. Another one done. How many are there? Yeah, not that many. <laughs> I thought that was the one, the last one last. Me too, I can't remember. But look, now there's a bit of foggy coming. So we probably want to go. I just demanded that we have a lunch break. Let's have a lunch break. We've been walking for almost four hours straight. Yes. And I'm hungry. And I'm just warming up, but that's probably because I'm younger than you. What do we have? Sandwiches, spec sandwiches. What about the view here? Are we happy with that view for picnic spot? Pretty good, don't think you can beat it. Bon appétit. You deserve it. And that's a local staple, it's called Kaminwurz. A really good sausage. Mm. Mm. It's cured smoked meat. Why does everybody else seem to have climbing equipment, like safety gear? Harnesses. Yeah. Yeah, but it's different. I, I'm a local. I, I can't do that. It's like a plumber reading instructions. It wouldn't look good. It's the same here. I can't do that, especially not if people watch it. There's children watching. No, 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 no harnesses. You told me that we were almost done and the worst day was over. Yeah, we are. And now I've just seen that I have to climb up a ladder. You spend half of your life on a ladder painting a shadow, so that's nothing for you. Yeah, but look at that. Roughly the same size as the ladder you use for painting. That was really sketchy. It was a bit wobbly as well. I didn't notice, I just didn't stop. No, I was you were like, so fast. Yeah, you I didn't realize how, how much it did like this. Okay. You make it look easy. We're almost done, Anna. And I'm so proud of you, really. You've done so well. Thank you, my love. It was a bit of uh, a challenge for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of us. We did it.